I tried making another paper crane. Uh, it didn't go so well, I think. It kind of looked like it flew into a wall or something. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Nick, and today I'm opening up this Honeymoon Burning Shadows pre-release kit, which I know we've seen before. Now, I wasn't gonna do one of these this week, because uh, last week we already did two, and uh, I felt we done a bit too much of them uh, recently. So initially I was like, uh, we're not doing any Burning Shadows this week. But the thing is, next week we're not doing any Burning Shadows either, because next week the channel will have its uh, one year birthday, or at least one year since I started making videos, and I have something special planned to celebrate, which uh, does not include Burning Shadows, so I figured we'd just do one more now. So kind of the same deal as with the other ones, a pack with 22 cards and a special pre-release promo, and four booster packs, of which of course I'll be giving away the codes. Now there is one thing slightly different, which we'll get to in a second. First though, we have the winners of the codes from last video. I asked you guys to choose between your favorite sort of uh, hollow special version card. I, I really don't know what to call these. What are you doing there, Top Go, go, go away. You weren't involved in this, co in this question. Now I asked you to pick your favorite between these five cards. And we got quite a few comments and I like that each of these cards got some comments for them. So love for all these guys all around even though they're not really that special of cards. But Still the big winner though was Slow King. Definitely the most comments for her, this guy. Including Carlos Porto Carrero, Ascent and Don Matheson, and I kind of get it, it's a nice art and it's one of the few cards of these five which I sometimes see people use uh, in actual play because that royal flash uh, ability can be quite a pain to your opponent and good news for everyone who voted for this guy because, well, it's breakpoint so it's the only card of the five that will still be in standard uh, in the coming year the fourth winner was Gamex who chose the Crobat as his favorite because it also has a nice ability and after Sloking, it's the one card I see people use uh, in actual play. And the last winner was Yamilet456, who chose Politoed as their favorite, also because of its ability, which makes all Poliwag, Poliwhirl and Polyrev ignore their uh, normal energy requirements, which I think can be pretty good as well. And I was thinking, we also got a new Poliwag to Poliwrav chain in one of the new Sun and Moon sets. And although I haven't looked at them, I was wondering, that might be a nice combination to play with this guy. You'll have to use it in expanded play because it's Furious Fist. But if you do, there might be a very nice combination there. So you guys win one of the codes. As always, you should have received a message from me by the time you see this video. As for the Burning Shadows codes from this video, uh, I couldn't really think of a question for Burning Shadows itself. So I came up with something a bit more general. And thus my question to you guys is, what is your favorite set? It can be anything from Burning Shadows to the original base set. It doesn't matter let me know what set is your favorite in the comments below and why for a chance to win one of the codes now let's open this thing and like i mentioned there's something a little different about this one compared to the other ones and that is uh i wasn't looking for any of the pre-release promos i have all four of the promos already and i get kind of bored with how you when you make a deck with one of these pre-release kits uh, they usually end up pretty much the same because you always get the same cards in that little 22 card deck so i decided to challenge myself and keep the promo and the 22 cards in the little pack. Uh, secondary reason being that uh, I think it keeps some of its value if you keep it sealed like this. So I got another Surviper and I don't know what other cards are in here because uh, I didn't open it. And like I said, I think it keeps some of its value if it stays sealed, so we'll keep it like that for now. And so I just used what I got from these four booster packs uh, to make a deck and it w went surprisingly well. Like I was expecting because I didn't have all the trainers and stuff from the, the little pack that my deck would be terrible but I managed to make something pretty good. I did pretty well with it. And we also get another flyer again. we have seen many of those before. I tried making another paper crane. Uh, it didn't go so well I think. It kind of looked like it flew into a wall or something. <laughs> And yes, then the four booster packs, same deal as with the other pre-release kits. I already opened them because I played with the cards. But then I put everything back and I shuffled them around so I don't know what is in each pack. And it's been a while since the pre-release so I really don't remember much about what was in it. So we have the first pack, a Fighting Energy, Riolu, Stuffle, Meryl, Pansage, Esper, Simipur, Solrock, Kiawe, Alolum Vulpix, Reverse Hollow, and a Shinotic. Then the second pack, yeah, starting with a Dark Energy, Morlol, so we can use the Shinotic, which I did. <laughs> a Noibat, Inkei, 
Ladyba, Orsi, Plumeria, Lunaton, Sophocles, 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 yeah, I think I did that right. A reverse hollow Panpour and a Glossopod GX. I knew there was a GX in there, but I couldn't remember what it was. It was Glossopod. One of the better GXs, I think. I think this one has some value to it. It has some pretty strong attacks, at least. I especially like the first impression, which allows it to do 120 damage when it comes into play on its first active turn. And you can even use the GX attack to put it back on your bench. You can bring it out again and use that first impression again. So yeah, nice pull. Uh, I've been surprisingly lucky with the Burning Shadows pre-release kits. Like I got a hit in every box so far, uh, which I think uh, doesn't always happen. Okay, so the, it's only four packs and I'm pretty sure you get one in six packs, you should get a GX card. So we have a Crabrawler. Cutifly, Pansage, Sandygast, Charmander, Seedra, Surviper, Rhydon, Reverse Hollow Diancy, very nice card in the Reverse Hollow I think, and a Bruxish. And the last pack, we have a Fairy Energy, Meowth, another Crawler, a Lolan Grimer, another Pikachu with a beautiful art, a Stuffle, Bodybuilding Dumbles, a very nice new trainer, a, another Lunaton, Wicke, Wick, Wick, and not sure how you should pronounce that, Plumeria, another Raichu, which is also beautiful. Oh, and that's the last one. Uh, I'm not sure why I was expecting another one. So a nice hollow at the end there. So those were the packs, uh, this is definitely the winner from today. And yeah, I think in general I've been really lucky with the Burning Shadows pre-release kits. I got a GX in each one so far and even the full art Marsh Stomp and Gardevoir GX cards, which are some of the better ones I think. So yes, for a Sun and Moon set, Burning Shadows surprisingly kind to me. Now of course don't forget to leave a comment about your favorite set they, uh, that they ever made in the comments below for a chance to win one of the Burning Shadows code cards and as always I'll pick my favorite answers and announce them in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can click up here to watch another one. And if you just want to watch me play some video games, you can click down here to go to my gaming channel. Whatever you decide to do, thank you very much for watching and have a very nice day.